to make new cells is by the division of the pre-existing cells. So this means that all organisms depend on cell division for their continued existence. DNA as you know carries the genetic information that each cell needs. So each time a cell divides, all of its DNA must be copied faithfully so that a copy of this information can be passed on to the daughter cell. So this process is called DNA replication. So hello folks, welcome to Educare. I am Payal and today we will see how DNA replicates. Each side of the DNA, double helix, runs in opposite direction, anti-parallel, as you can see in this diagram. The beauty of this structure is that it can unzip down the middle and each side can serve as a pattern or a template for the other side, which is called the semi-conservative replication. However, DNA does not unzip entirely. It unzips in a small area called a replication fork, which then moves down the entire length of the molecule. So in DNA replication, the following steps are involved. Number one, an enzyme called the DNA guidase makes a nick in the double helix and each side separates. Number two, an enzyme called helicase unwinds the double-stranded DNA. Number three, several small proteins called single-strand binding proteins temporarily bind to each side and keep them separated. Number four, an enzyme complex called DNA polymerase walks down the DNA strand and adds new nucleotide to each strand. Number five, the nucleotides pair with the complementary nucleotides on the existing strand, that is, that is A with T and G with C. Number six, a subunit of the DNA polymerase proofreads the new DNA. Number seven, an enzyme called DNA ligase seals up the fragments into one long continuous strand. Number eight, the new copies automatically wind up again. So these are the major steps involved in DNA replication. For detailed understanding of DNA replication, please subscribe our channel as we will upload more videos soon. So if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Thank you and stay tuned.